If you're just joining us, we're live inside the white flight control room at the Johnson Space Center. We are awaiting the departure burn. That's the distant retrograde orbit departure burn for Orion. You're currently seeing live views from Orion spacecraft as it prepares for just a minute and a half from now to do that burn. And just about 10 seconds away from that burn beginning. The burn has begun. And we're halfway through the burn. And we currently see a little Earth behind slash beside one of the Orion or solar arrays coming into view and out of view as this burn continues. And a nominal burn has been called in the room. And with a nominal distant retrograde orbit departure burn, Orion will leave its distant retrograde orbit, preparing Orion for a second lunar flyby, that return powered flyby burn that we discussed earlier, and Earth insertion burn, and finally preparation for re-entry and splashdown planned for December 11th. A 
again, Orion has had a successful, a nominal one minute and 45 second depart, distant retrograde orbit departure burn. And with that, we'll wrap coverage for today. But we'll be covering the RPF, or the return power flyby burn, live on air on Monday, December 5th. Again, that will be aired at 8.30 a.m. Central Time, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And again, that is on December the 5th. Before we air that December 5th return power flyby for Orion, be sure to check out live coverage of the U.S. EVA on December the 3rd. Showtime beginning at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Our live views from Orion have gone briefly. We are currently looking at the arrow tracker. You can track Artemis and you can track Orion on www.nasa.gov slash track Artemis. Again, this is the arrow tracker giving you the velocity, the distance from Earth and the distance from the moon for Orion in real time. Again, we had a nominal distant retrograde orbit departure burn. Orion will leave its distant or retrograde orbit, preparing Orion for a second lunar flyby, an Earth insertion burn, and finally, pre preparation for re-entry and splashdown planned for December 11th. That'll end our coverage there. However, we'll be covering the RPF burn live on air on Monday, December 5th, beginning at 8 a.m. Central Time, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And before that burn coverage, we will we also have live on air Saturday, November, sorry, Saturday, December 3rd, the U.S. Spacewalk 82, and that will start at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Eastern Time.